Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you all how to modify and print your 3D models in the NCSM Fab Lab using 3D Printer OS. To start, go to 3dprinteros.com and then click Sign In. Then, select SSO, type in North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics, and log in with your NCSM Google account. This will take you to the Fab Lab's 3D Printer OS portal. After logging in, you will land on the Files tab in 3D Printer OS. In this tutorial, we'll only go over the first three tabs up here at the top. In this first file tab, you can upload files you want to print, as well as set up Project, which act as folders for your files. The next tab, History, shows your previous prints along with other statistics. Printers shows all the printers at NCSM, as well as their statuses. You can also get a live view of all of our printers using the live view wall feature. To start my print, I'll navigate back over to the files tab and then click add files. There are three types of files you can upload to 3D Printer OS, STLs, G-code, and OBJs. For this tutorial, I'll upload an STL file to 3D Printer OS, as this is the file type that is the most popular. I'll drag studyduck.stl into 3D Printer OS. After 3D Printer OS processes my file, it'll show up in the Files tab with two options, Layout and Slice. I'll click on Layout first. Here, I can see that my duck is placed in the center of the print bed. Within the Layout environment, I have a couple options of how to edit my duck. I can move it on the print bed wherever I want to using the Move command. I can also rotate my duck using the Rotate command. And lastly, I can also scale my duck using the scale command. There are also some special commands, on bed, center, and optimal rotate. To get my duck ready for printing, I'll click optimal rotate, which will find the best position for my duck to print properly. Then I'll click on on bed, which will make sure the bottom of the duck sits perfectly on the print bed. And lastly, I'll click center, which will make sure that my duct is in the middle of the print bed again. I'll also make sure to select the right printer for the job. The Fab Lab has two types of printers, the Ultimaker 2 Plus and the Prusa i3 Mark III. Changing the printer changes the size of the print bed as well as some other settings later on. We recommend that for most prints and personal projects to use the Prusa Mark III and that the Ultimaker stay reserved for professional and classwork projects or more higher quality is required. For this print, I'll leave it as a Prusa. Now that I'm done laying out the model, I can click on the Slice button in the top right corner. This will bring up the Slice menu. In the Slice menu, I can set up the quality and strength of my print, the material of my part, as well as some other options. The Fab Lab has set a profile that students can use to get optimal print settings. First, select your printer type in the top left corner. I'll leave mine as a Prusa i3. Under the next menu, you can click on the draft or quality profile. I don't need a very high quality duct, so I'll leave mine as draft. For this video, I'll leave layer height, wall thickness, infill density, printing temperature, build plate temperature, build plate adhesion type, and generate support as default. If you'd like to learn more about these values, please watch the slicing video in the playlist linked in the description. Don't edit these values without consultation from the Fab Lab. Once I've selected the right profile, I'll click on the Slice and Toolpath Review button. Now, you can review the layers of your print from start to finish by moving the range slider or using the animation buttons. 3D Printer OS also told me which parts of the duck overhang from the sides and has generated supports for them in the pink color. I can also check the amount of filament my print uses the estimated print time, and the cost of my print in this bottom right corner. All NCSM students get $5 for printing by default and may expand this amount by contacting the NCSM cashier. There are no errors with this info, so I'll click on the print button. In this last step, I'll select which printer I want to use as well as the color of my print. I want the duck to be red, so I'll select on Archimedes. Make sure that the printer you choose has enough filament for print or else it will be incomplete. If the printer you want is busy, you can click on the Q button, which will make your print next in line. Once I've selected my printer, I'll click Print. Now, if I go to the Printer tab, 
I can see that the printer Archimedes is heating up and getting ready to print my part. When the print completes, you can head over to the Fab Lab and pick it up. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like more in-depth info about the features of 3D Printer OS, check out the playlist in the video description, as well as the NCSM Fab Lab website in the description as well. Thanks!